The Tesla Model Y teardown shows some great improvements over the Model 3 despite sharing 75% of parts. The latest Tesla Model Y teardown videos show how Tesla managed to make some great improvements over the Model 3 despite sharing 75% of parts with the electric sedan. Sandy Monroe, a manufacturing expert who rose to fame in the Tesla community after his breakdown of an early Model 3, is doing the first teardown of a Model Y. Monroe is releasing details about the teardown piece by piece on his YouTube channel, Monroe Live. At the time of this video, he's uploaded 15 videos of the Model Y teardown. Be sure to check out his channel for future videos of his teardown of the Model Y and a more detailed look at what he thinks of the electric vehicle. Link to his channel will be in the description below. The manufacturing expert is now getting into the nitty gritty and showing some of the most impressive improvements made to the Model Y compared to the Model 3. In the latest videos, we can see that they have removed most panels and the interior of the car, revealing the body, powertrain, and wiring architecture of the Model Y. Last year, Tesla announced that the Model Y, which is built on the same platform as the Model 3, is going to share about 75% of its parts with the electric sedan. It enables Tesla to make some significant cost savings by producing those parts in higher volumes, but it also limits the manufacturing improvements that the automaker can make to the electric SUV since it needs to rely on the design of the Model 3 for most of the parts. Nonetheless, Tesla managed to make some fairly impressive improvements despite those limitations, according to Monroe's latest videos. Now that the interior has been stripped, Monroe was able to get a good look at the floor plan and more wiring, which is very similar to the Model 3, but Tesla managed to make some improvements. For example, Tesla managed to use the Model 3 floor plan in the SUV by raising the floor with engineered polypropylene, which resulted in reusing other interior parts for the Model 3, like the seats and entire dashboard, just at a different height. The raised floor is allowing Tesla to have a better wiring architecture and fit some more parts underneath. One of the most significant improvements that Monroe noted is that Tesla changed the long, high voltage wiring system that goes from the inverter to the charge port to pipes. Monroe says that the main advantage is that the pipes will always fit perfectly during the assembly process and therefore it should save time during manufacturing. He also noted that it should be lighter than the Model 3 wires. In another video, Monroe deep dove into the rear casting of the Model Y, which is by far the most significant change to the body of the Model Y compared to the Model 3. CEO Elon Musk said that Tesla is moving to an aluminum casting design instead of a series of stamped steel and aluminum pieces for the Model Y body. A new patent application filed last year revealed this new casting machine that Tesla is using to build the Model Y. Monroe confirmed the change, though he actually sees two parts in the back linked together by a bracket. Nonetheless, he was really impressed by the improvement made to the rear casting, and he especially loves the one-piece drop-in trunk. Based on the fit of the latter, the manufacturing expert thinks that it's possible that Tesla might update the design of the Model 3 to also take advantage of those manufacturing improvements. Monroe also again notes that the Model Y's third-row seat might actually end up rear-facing. In the video, Monroe also said that Tesla confirmed to him that they are going to be adding a casing to the Model Y's heat pump in order to reduce the noise. Be sure to check out my video on the Model Y's heat pump. Some very fascinating stuff here. I was wondering how much of an improvement Tesla could make to the Model Y's manufacturability over the Model 3 while sharing the majority of the parts. There is a lot more than I thought was possible, so kudos to Tesla. I also like Monroe's point about Tesla potentially bringing those improvements to the Model 3. While it would be a significant capital expenditure due to the kind of volume the Model 3 is making, it could be worth it if the cost savings per car is big enough. 
What do you think? Let us know in the comments bo section below. The Tesla Model Y gets a $1,000 tow hitch option. Tesla just launched the Model Y with the first deliveries happening just a month ago. There were a lot of questions about the vehicle, most of which have been answered, but one remained. Where's the tow hitch? We've got an answer to that now. It's here, and it's available today as a $1,000 option. That's certainly a lot of money, especially when you compare the tow hitch option to a Toyota, which charges $500. Does the Teslas come with a suspension upgrade or a tow package deal? Questions still remain. We've also learned the towing capacity for the tow hitch option, which will be 3,500 pounds. This is higher than the Model 3's tow hitch option, which has a capacity of around 2,000 pounds, and that option is only available on European Model 3's. The Model Y has a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. The Model Y's tow hitch option is classified as a Class 2, which means along with the 3,500 capacity comes a max tongue weight of 300 pounds and probably a 1 inch to 1 and a quarter inch receiver. 3,500 pounds isn't going to break any towing records, but for a small travel trailer or to tow a small boat or just for the simple addition of a bike carrier, it should be more than enough to help expand your cargo options. Another option you can put on the tow hitch is a bump guard to help protect your Model Y. Bikes can also be carried on the roof rack, but since the Model Y is a taller vehicle and some people might not like lifting a bike all the way up to the top of a car, the tow hitch should be a better solution for that sort of thing. Interestingly, Tesla's online Model Y owner's manual still hasn't been updated with the new information and still says Model Y is not equipped with towing. We can imagine that section will change soon. With additional information regarding the tow hitch. There is no word on whether the tow hitch will be available as a retrofit for existing vehicles post delivery, but it can be added to current orders which have not yet been fulfilled. If you're interested in adding this to your order, you can go into your Tesla account and click Edit Design. It's available across all versions of the Model Y, but be wary that you may lose your place in line in updating your order of the Model Y. The tow hitch option is also available in European orders. I've already seen videos of current Model Y owners clearly showing there is no tow hitch in the rear of the Model Y. So I'm curious to know how the tow hitch option was added and if it's something a third party business could install for a lot less. Also expect the vehicle's range to be affected 30 to 40 percent. Due to prototype Model Ys, we were expecting a tow hitch, but when the Model Y first came out without an op any option to add one, we were worried. Since European Model 3s have a tow hitch option, but US Model 3s don't, we thought there was a chance the same thing might happen to the Model Y. So this is a nice relief. What do you think about the Model Y's new storage option? Does it make you want a Model Y even more? Let me know in the comments below. And please, like and subscribe to help this channel grow. Don't forget to come back for more news and information on everything Tesla Model Y. Thanks for watching.